Let's get right to it. Right now, there's an estimated two to 300,000 jobs open for machine learning engineers globally. The University of Texas did a study recently, well, a few years ago, and they projected that there are going to be 500,000 open roles by 2025. The question becomes, how can that number of jobs be increasing year after year? Why aren't these jobs being filled? The first problem is the education myth. You've been conditioned to believe that if you go to college and get a degree in data science, machine learning, or math, you're going to have the skills you need to do the job in the real world. If that were true, there wouldn't be 300,000 jobs open right now. The truth of the matter is that colleges don't teach applied machine learning, they teach theory. Companies don't need theoreticians, they need people that can do the job. I've worked at two large tech companies. Neither would hire a machine learning engineer without three years of real world experience. This leads us into the second reason the jobs aren't being filled, experience. Companies need people that can help them right now. I don't know a single company that hires an entry level machine learning engineer. If you head to a job board and look at entry level roles, you'll see that almost all of them have some level of experience attached to the entry level role. The third reason is SQL. This surprises most people that haven't worked in IT. Why is SQL important? Because most models being built right now in the real world are sourced from relational databases. All relational databases speak one language and that's SQL. If you don't know SQL and don't have SQL experience, you won't get hired. Again, at both tech companies I worked at, if you didn't have at least three years of real world SQL experience, we filled it out your resume. The fourth reason is something called technical debt. It means that most, even those with the most advanced degrees, simply don't have the basic computer skills to do the job. When you interview for IT roles, companies have an expectation that you have knowledge of the most commonly used tools day in and day out. For example, many companies build their models in the cloud. If you don't have basic cloud skills, how are you going to get your data to the cloud to build your models? Well, you aren't. Now, I'm sure we can list out more. However, these four, the education myth, lack of experience, no SQL skills, and technical debt cover a lot of the reasons why these roles are going to remain unfilled for a long time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day.